Hi guys, it's me again. It's a new stove for me, probably old stove for you guys. Made it with the Altoids can. And basically I put some washers in there to put in screws. I have two inch screws in there right now. But you can go to something shorter, like a one and three fourths. Or actually I think this is one and a half. Makes the pot closer, burns not as hot, but burns longer. So if you want to simmer, and one that is a uh, two and one quarter of an inch. So I have uh, one ounce of alcohol in there. I think you kind of see it already. I poured it in already. And let's do a two cup burn test. It is about five Celsius here. I'll have to double check again. Sorry guys, I'd be my dog in the background there. Did that light up? It's not lighting up. doesn't seem to want to light up. <clears throat> Pardon me here folks. I'll just have to go to the trusty zippo. Here we go. Ouch. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. This burns hot. There's a lot of a lot of heat going on the side. And I think that's perfect because the point of me making this stove is to actually use it with my larger pots. I'm using the smaller pots just so I can get a burn time comparison to the uh, beer can stoves that I've been using. And um, that way I'll know exactly how much more quicker it is or whatever. Plus I'll also do another quick video using taller um, screws to keep the pot further away. <clears throat> so it's dying down and it's about 8 minutes, 8 minute 20, dying down. I don't think it's gonna, nah, no boil. So I'll need to find out why. I mean it's obviously giving off a lot of heat in the side and everything. But again, the point of making this dough is actually for my bigger pot, so I'm just doing this for a test comparison. I'm going to let it cool down and let it sit out here so it's back to the same temperature as um, when I did this test and try it with the taller screws so it's further away from the pot to see if that way the flames hit the bottom of this pot better and then that way I'll be able to switch over to my big, bigger 1.4. 1.4, 1.6, 1.4, 1.4 liter GSI Dulis pot. So then I'll see if I can use this for cooking or not. Alright, so the last one, when the flame became basically unusable, it stopped around 9 minute 37 seconds, so let's say 9.35. I've now switched out the shorter guys for the longer ones. So... Uh, the previous ones were two inches, and the one I have in now is uh, two and a quarter. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, it should be two and a quarter, not two and a half. And here's how the spacing looks like from the pot. So, alrighty, let's do another burn test. So, same thing, everything's chilled down. It is, it is five Celsius right now, as it was for the last test one ounce of denatured alcohol 
Color screws make it a little harder to pour. Doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, you know, I think I spilled some on my finger. Uh, a few dribbles here and there. And, uh, oh, let's see if we can lay it up with the flint this time. And we can. Just dry it up. Put it on the pot. screen and let this burn again we're at the five minute and well almost 30 second mark and uh oh excuse my dog there that was her burping this is how the flame pattern looks like it's pretty nice what's going on just got a little bit of bubbles on the top now last time with the shorter screws it burned for about 9 minutes and 35 seconds basically I'm gonna expect the same thing with these uh, taller screw supports but I'm wondering and I'm hoping that we can achieve a boil this time. And then my next test will be using the bigger pot. Turn it back on when it comes to a boil, I hope. So the flame is basically dying out. It's 8.25. It's probably going to still burn for another minute as we expect. But it's obviously a lot weaker. And it is not boiling. So we'll try it with the bigger pot and see what happens. Here we are, back for another one. This time with the much bigger pot. I will pull up the camera once I get it on so we can see it. So the usual, one ounce of denatured alcohol. And we'll get the stove going again. Okay, so I'm a little messy this time again. Oops, I actually forgot to start the timer. Uh, behind my fingernails. dog's complaining a lot because every time I do something like this she thinks we're going to be heading out and well we're not so I spilt a little bit of alcohol this time but anyway this is the pot I'm using this time man everything's dropping today so once again I will Turn the camera back on when something interesting is happening. It's worth to note that the epoxy I used was not JB Weld. It was just a LePage 11. I thought I had JB Weld at home. I think I used it all for some of my camera equipment gear for the light stands and stuff. So I'll probably have to do another one of these stills the proper way. Because the support in the far back left it's already come off but it's still standing there just you know freestanding but it's actually not glued down anymore so if anyone wants to do this use the right stuff use JB Weld I think it'll be a lot better than just normal epoxy all right we're reaching the six minute mark here we're at 550 and if I take the cap off we Got steam going, little bubbles going, but not quite at a rolling boil yet. Oops. I go hitting the camera stand. So we're at the aim at the mark, and the field's already slowly dying down. We did not achieve a boil at all. But there's more bubbles here than compared to the smaller pot. So it looks like I still need to go back and do a little bit of thinking to see how this is going to work or just ditch it all and stick 
to the beer can as the only alcohol stove I will use. I don't really have a problem with that. The purpose of me doing these last few videos with the fancy feast can or this uh, Altoids tin can is to find out if there's something that can burn hot like the beer can and be remote field for what I want to do and I, I do know there are folks out there who have stoves like that and it's working for them but I want something that can boil <laughs> a lot more water like I only have two cups in there and that's basically like nothing this pot is what I use when there's two three maybe even four of us and we're going a little more lightweight the other thing is uh, I'm planning to pick up uh, maybe a Vargo titanium hexagon stove wood stove the bush buddy uh, if I do go the route of going wood only as my fuel I definitely get the bush buddy also because it's made in BC it's always nice to support locals but uh, for my purpose I think the Vargo titanium hexagon wood stove may serve a very good purpose where I can use it as a windscreen pot stand for my alcohol stoves and also use it as a wood stove but that runs into a different whole issue where my nice looking pots here are going to get filled with soot but that's uh, that's something else I'll just have to figure out so as far as this testing goes the Altoids 10 can it's not quite working out for me right now uh, I know there are people out there who might drill out the sides and use it as a pressurized can don't ever want to go that route, I probably won't because again the purpose of doing this is to see if it burns hot enough for what I want to do and have it as a on a, on a remote fuel so it's basically gone out it's 10.15 on the watch but it was basically useless at about 9 minutes as, as expected so I'm pretty sure I can achieve a boil if I put in probably one and a half ounce to really let it go because uh, I saw you know it started bubbling it just wasn't doing the nice rolling boil that we like to see however an ounce and a half of fuel that's a whole half ounce more than a beer can and that's that's 50 percent more to achieve that two cup boiling that's a lot more extra fuel to bring and I haven't done all the math yet I like using white gas stoves too but uh, the weight in that is a lot more than an alcohol stove but if I start carrying more fuel there's a breaking point so anyways as always please leave your comments if you have a great suggestion let me know and I'll probably think about it probably give it a try you know I get bored every once in a while and that's the wonderful thing about these alcohol stoves just to make something try it out post up all the fail ones on YouTube and hear back from you guys. Have a great day.